Welcome back to another episode of the Chips and Chops podcast. We would like to first shout out our sponsor, Stockroom East. Stockroom East is a collaborative workspace here in downtown South Bend that has so much to offer, including events and amazing workspace, this beautiful podcast video studio, and so much more. With us today is Ryan Voris, aka Shot by Rye. Ryan is an 18-year-old sports photographer here in South Bend that gained traction pretty quickly. If you're in the mix when it comes to high school sports and media, photography is a pretty popular thing. Therefore, it's pretty uh, oversaturated, right? But from collaborations with future IU basketball star Gabe Cups, five-star big man Flory Badunga, and Washington superstar Amaya Reynolds, Ryan quickly made a name for himself. So, Ryan, everyone knows you for your pictures. I'm curious, like, what is something people regularly do not know about you? There's a few things. Um, a big one is it's kind of related to sports. Uh, I work for the South Bend Cubs. It's not really photo-related, but I work – on what it's called the blue crew it's kind of just like the promotions slash mark not promotions team kind of basically it's just like we choose contestants in between innings and we like have to set up a certain game like so like you go you go and find the people for like the kiss camp yeah basically. so if me and oh. if me and david came to a game would you be able to like make us be contestants Okay, 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 okay. We're <laughs> it depends. It depends. There's like certain ones you have to be older, like 21, but yeah. like certain like there's this competition for like dizzy dogs. You get like two teams of two, and you get them on the field. They have to like spin their heads on bat on a bat for like 15 seconds, and then you like split apart, throw hot dogs, gotta catch them. It's like That's a quick. It's like a quick game run between an ending, but like yeah. Yeah, so it's not like just like photography's like. Like you're still putting in, like, like you're, you're the one. Making, you're yeah, still trying to make money, and like you're, no, you're going to college. Oh yeah, and, it's, like, oh, yeah it's like you're it's the a one job. Like you're the one lighting up like the fireworks at night. No, so I'm like not you, doing that. like I'm the one. you're running across with like the lighter, I'm lighting the off the fireworks. No, I'm the. I'm not doing all that. That's far away. During okay. that time, I'm kind of picking up all my stuff. Last year, when they, do you guys ever go to a Cubs game and there was like the vegetable race? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. The, yep. yeah you were one of those. I was one of those. They stopped doing it this year though. But like at the end of the game, we would always have to carry it back to like all the way where we start running from that's what i would do during fireworks i'd yeah. like watch fireworks while carrying this and i feel like i'm not like but that movie. must be like a nostalgic memory yeah, it's, kind of, like, it's that, pretty cool all. they don't do it this year though there's no more uh because the costumes are really old so yeah. we didn't do it no more but so like, what are the other things um oh, there's a i wish i had I, we get a script every single game of all this stuff i wish i could there's a brush the bases you get like a little kid and you get a giant toothbrush that's like four feet tall, yeah. and they go out and brush the base in between an inning. That's pretty cool. Um, there's like a press your luck. It's a giant button you bring down. Basically, there's just like a rotating prizes on the big screen, and then yeah. you press the button, and then they get a prize. So, I mean, uh, what are something like other but people people do not regularly know about you? Oh, like not like non my bad, my like bad, non work bad, stuff because like bad, photography. No, 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 don't apologize because I mean that's interesting. Yeah, like, no, photography. Like you're getting money. This is another way you get money. This is probably your main source of income. Uh, I don't so. know. There's not really. Uh, it's just a lot of sports. To be that's honest, that's like your big it's, thing. Because like I, literally, like your your laptop, you got. What, oh yeah, I four got four or five different teams. I don't know. Let's see. We got South Bend Titans, where I go to college. The Dolphins, Miami Dolphins, Miami Heat, South Bend Cubs, where I work. Notre Dame. That's my my favorite college. So like, what's the what's the basketball. Miami connection? That's that starts. Oh, so, how far I does was, that go back? I don't know. I have a. Oh, I don't know. I used to have this app on my phone that has like a date when I first started becoming like a Miami fan. You start, you started a timer for when like not a timer, but like the certain date when I became a when, like was it like when you were a kid? Yeah, it was like December or something. I don't. What what's but what sparked it? Because I mean, I just downloaded that fast. Oh no, I didn't remember. That's so sad. My new phone didn't remember. Got to delete that up. So what <laughs> what what like started it? Because I mean, um, it, was there a certain day? Because you're saying it's yeah, a certain day, but yeah. um. I was, I, I don't remember the exact age, like 9, 10, somewhere in there. I was sitting at home, and an NFL game was on, and I asked my mom to show me all the NFL logos. And then she pulled up a picture of all the NFL logos, and then I looked at the dolphin, and I was like, Mom, that's my favorite one. Like, look how cool it is. It's teal, it's orange, it's like my favorite colors. And then she's like, oh, that should be your favorite team. So then I was a dolphin fan, yeah. because I was just, like, little at the time. And then... I slowly, my grandma got me a dolphin hat. There was like a dolphin game on like national TV, so I actually watched one. I slowly became like a Miami Dolphin fan. And then slowly over the years, I became like a Heat fan, Marlin fan, all of Miami. And, and that's like your like, dream is to go live in Miami. Like that's like, oh yeah, have that's, you been there? Uh, yeah, I, been, I went there in eighth grade with my grandma. Um, but that's like the only time I ever went. And yeah. I, was, I wasn't too young not to remember it, but I was too young. 
to be able to, to like, really like, experience not it. do everything that I wanted to yeah. now, but like I've been there once and it's definitely like my no, home, so Miami's the spot, bro. If you like, go there, you, I'm not gonna spring break. No, I was gonna say I went I went to Miami for spring break. The big thing that surprised me is like. I think it's like it's like one of the only cities uh, in America where it's like predominantly Spanish speaking. Oh yeah, like, like that's I like I need like, to learn Spanish. Yeah, like <laughs> all, all all of our you know servers at a restaurant, Uber drivers, like they all speak Spanish. Oh yeah, and it's like it's to the huh. point where it's like that's you you need to like like you. It's not like, yeah, it's like they're like predominantly Spanish, which I think is like, it's pretty cool. It's yeah. like you're going somewhere foreign, but you know, you're still in America. Yeah. Uh, but my question is why photography? Because, you know, photography in this like area is like, it, like we said, pretty oversaturated. Like mm-hmm. there's, there's like five, six ho- like household names. And then there's a bunch of people that are like trying to get into it. And you got into it late. Yeah, I did get into it pretty late. Um, I didn't even know that I was going to do photography. I didn't plan on it. Nothing like that. So when you were a kid, did like... Was it something that, like, no? not even, like, a thought, to be honest? So, like, it's interesting. Like, you gained this passion, like, literally in high school. Overnight, like, basically. Like, it was like, almost, like, overnight. It was weird. Hmm. So, my just like Grant, my sister had a camera. And my sister let me use her camera. My sister got her camera from, like, a friend. She had, it was, like, a Canon Rebel, just, like, a basic camera with a basic lens. And I would just, like, mess around with it. Uh, not, not no sports or anything, just, like, in the backyard, like, my family and everything and then i don't remember exactly i'm pretty sure i went to a south bank cubs game that was my first ever like just like hey i'm gonna go mess around and shoot so i went to a south bank cubs game and i shot some baseball flicks and i liked it i was fun uh i ended up sending it to like a few players and one of them i actually like responded and saved it and was like yo this is a really cool photo and he had like 13k and he was like verified and it was like the first photo i ever took like the first person i ever sent it to so that so it set it set the bar really high i didn't set the bar high but i was like dang i can maybe like be good yeah. like this. like, like, like I, I was gonna say like that's something that me and david really like experience like when you like start your own thing like like the validation okay. bro like that's such a big deal but yeah, like, it's yeah it's like, I, yeah. like when we started like the fact that people are like snapchatting us being like this is actually like we actually i like this you know we listen yeah. to the next one mm-hmm. like it's, if we didn't get that like good. i don't know if we would be like, yeah you know what i mean because it's like at the end of the day, like the first three months is like the hardest thing to get through, and then mm-hmm. once you get through it, it's kind of like you just roll with it. Yeah, like at this point, like I don't, I don't need to know if someone likes it. Yeah, like, you know what I mean. I met and then I did that. When then, was this? Oh, I don't know exactly. To be honest, it was like a year, a year ago, like right now, basically. Okay, maybe, maybe a little bit later. Maybe like a, was it before or after you graduated high school? After definitely. Yeah. That's crazy, but that's literally like nine months ago. Yeah, it was and you started fun. you started doing it like almost like six months to this date. I made yeah. What was your first Instagram? I post? made Shabar Rai in October. Okay, so did you choose to go to IUSB because you wanted to stay local to try to? Yeah, it was that, and it's cheap. get your photography going. Yeah, my sister went there her first year, and I didn't want to like. Didn't do want to drop a I bag. Didn't wanna, I didn't want to do anything that like it was out of the norm, I guess, because like college is like a big deal, and I just didn't. Yeah, like, I didn't want to go. Well, one, I couldn't afford, like, all these, like, big schools everywhere. Yeah. And I didn't want to go out of state. I didn't want to go to, like, IU because I knew I was going to need, like, everything up here, like, in South Bend. Like, this is home. Like, I have yeah. too much stuff here. I couldn't. I couldn't. Because I feel like you go down to IU, you have bigger teams to shoot for. Yeah, for sure. But, like, a lot but, of like, people. But, like, it's just pace. It, it's just Hoosiers. Yeah. A lot of people, like. Still, it's bigger than any. A, yeah. Lo- a lot of people that, like, go to, like, big schools like that, they. Because, like, they. Or like a sign they take photos of that school. They strictly only take photos of that school. So like, and I you didn't want to like be locked in. Yeah. yeah, I didn't want to be locked into like one specific school. I wanted to be able to like take pictures of a bunch of stuff. Do you, do you? Is that like what you really like about? It? Is like you kind of have all this freedom. And like in high school, it's like who wouldn't want their picture taken? You know what I mean? Like all oh, these yeah. high school high school athletes who have X amount of followers. Oh, yeah. like, I, I can imagine they love that. Like I'm if, I mean David's actually a really good athlete here in South Bend. Uh, have you had any photographers reach out say like? I'll collab with you. No, I think the <laughs> photographers, I'm in a market that's not looking or that isn't a high. It's not super. Like, it's not a high demanded really sport. Like no one, like, no is. photographer wakes up and wants to go shoot golf. <laughs> no one wants to go I mean, flick up golf and be like, yeah, well, those are tough. You ever people up? No, I, I, because I, I feel weird. No, you, you know, never feel weird. Photographers no. are the most open people. No, I, I would just feel I weird because like it. it's golf. Like I, I can see from the non-golfers eyes why people would look down upon it which it shouldn't be but you know it's all right when i was in my uh varsity tennis era i did <laughs> varsity go- junior varsity sorry they're saying ba- ba- i mean like dude that's rude that's David. rude right there bro i had to i had to make sure like, David, are you, are you like, trying to make me cry? no i was making you va- i was giving you validation well i was gonna say <laughs> during my uh 
Varsity. Junior. No, no. Varsity. Varsity, right? Varsity tennis era. I did get flicked up uh, with David at a game. And by who? Well, I'll tell you after. They, like, I don't know if they really want their name to be said, but... um. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> we did get flicked up, and it was just something I was like, damn, like, me and my, like, this is my craft. Like, beat, yeah. Like, this is, like, my craft. Like, this is, like, what I'm known yeah, for. It's awesome. This is, like, where I get ranked in, like, the state. And, like, yeah. it just meant, like, a lot to me. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, but <laughs> sorry, sorry for getting off topic. Right, Talk okay. more into, like, how you, I guess, how you got into it and how you started. Uh, yeah, so. so you, you started your Instagram account, Shop by Ride. Yeah, my, I went to, like, October. A, I, I went to, I, so I graduated from New Prairie High School last year. Go Cougs. Yeah, for real. And then I went to IU South Bend. <laughs> and then basically when I started taking photos, I was most comfortable. Well, one, I love New Prairie football. I would like It's just yeah. like a part of my – They're, they're, I bleed they're blue and good. Gold. Yeah. I believe blue and gold. Um, so I just had to go back to like some uh, football games, and I decided to bring the camera because why not? I wasn't like good or nothing at the time. I just like, you know, why not? You were just a guy me. with the camera. Basically, and I had the – had the and I got on the sideline too, so I yeah, I I love getting on the sideline because it's just the best. You get yeah, the best yeah. view and everything. So I, I scrolled all the way back to your first pictures and like you can tell. I'm not gonna lie, your football pictures were tough though even back then, but like you can tell like the insane improvement from back then until now. Oh yeah, like the first post compared to like the most recent one, it's crazy. Like it's like, just it's like it's, it's like night and day. Like you can just see it's like. I don't know. It's, it's it, crazy. It, it's yeah, crazy. photography work is something that you can you can see the you can see the improvements when like there's a lot of things that you can't technically see your improvement. You can't see really in life how you improve. It's kind of like you kind of wake up and it's like, man, maybe I have grown. Yeah, it's because yeah. So cause in real life, it's like so long over time. But photography, it's like you do one post, it's all right, and then like the next post, like people will notice because like but it's up and live. Talking about that, like, like say what you said about like. In life. Well, you you go through your day by day. You wake up; it's the same day every day, is what it seems like. But really, like you are a different person every day. That that you I go think... to sleep, you're a different person than when you woke up. You learned yeah. something new, you changed, and you evolved off that to go into the next day, which you're another person. So you can't see that day by day improvements, but you look at yourself now. You look at yourself three months ago. You can genuinely see a lot of things when you, like your Snapchat memories or something. Or you're scrolling through photos, like yeah, that was, damn, that was an era that, that really like passed. But like I genuinely like grew a lot through that. Well, era. I was gonna say like that's why like I wish I could. This is like an excuse. I wish I could like write down every single day, like something about the day, like a journal. Be real. Yeah, like I mean, like be real in a way because that like brings back memories. But I wish I could like write like okay, I why can do you? this. I bro, I. I saw you used I, to you used to keep a journal. I did, bro, and I stopped. Diary? Like you had a diary. I did. I I like two diaries. Man. It wasn't like a diary. It was like a journal. I think. Yeah, it was like a journal. Like I, every single day, like you had the cheese touch too. Oh, the yeah. cheese touch. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, man. But I was gonna say like I uh okay I get that reference now. That's funny. <laughs> but I'll say like I wish you, that you I didn't get it at first. No man. <laughs> I know. I'm not. I'm not really hip like understand. that. Um, but I was gonna say like. I think that's something like if I have kids, bro, like I, I want to push it. Like that's something like oh, yeah. if you could like you want, go back a year from t- a year ago today. Yeah. Like I love looking at old pictures of myself. I'm like I remember what I was thinking. Like, it was so different from that. That's the thing with pictures and videos is I wish I like every day like I could take more than I really do. Like sometimes I'll just like walk. I'll be walking down the streets and like I'll just turn my phone on and put record and I'll just like put it at my hip and just see like what random things like my hip POV I captures. Never- you've never done that no i've never done that you just capture random things and you look at it it's like man like i didn't even i didn't even see that there's been times where i do voice memos of me like yelling yelling if i'm like mad at somebody like i'll just like put on a voice memo never send it to them but i delete those after time because that's kind of weird yeah that is weird like so you guys are singling me out right now no that is really weird now i don't think you you go on your phone and voice memo you raging about someone and then you just delete it yeah, because it's not. It doesn't help me to send it to them. It's just nice That's, to talk. You gotta like punch something. Oh, it's just yeah. your way of getting out is you I record I mean, I would yourself. Fa- I would you Facetime you, someone. but rant I don't know someone. if I should do that. Text someone, rant to someone. I don't know. <laughs> um, you got friends? Yeah, I no, I do have friends. Uh, yeah, but like whenever like something happens to me, I go to my friends. That's like Cameron? number one. Yeah, Cameron. Cameron's the Cameron, Dylan, Caden, Colton. Those are the four. The big four. The big four. Um, the gang. So yeah, talk about like your early like shop by ride times. Um, so yeah, my second game, it was New Prairie versus Riley and I met Flicks by Grant at it. Coincidentally, he was at that game. Shout out Grant. Yeah, for real. Dog. I love him. FBG. Um, so yeah, I met him there and 
he was like, yo, what's up? Flex, I'm Flex by Grant. I'm Ryan. Starting up. We followed each other. I asked him, like, what camera he had. He had the exact same one I had. Um, and then I asked him, like, what lens. He had the same one, except he was he just got, like, this 50 mil, which is, like, only, like, $100. I got it, like, I don't even know, like, maybe four months after that. But, like, he inspired me to get that 50 because it was such, like, a good lens and it was so cheap at the time. But, like, he told me what he used to edit, and it just, like, inspired me to, like, he, this dude's really good right now. I can, like, become what he is. He has everything that I have. Like, there's no excuse for me not to be good. That's so that, that's the way you grew is you re reached oh, yeah. out and just Basically, rolled with that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so then I'm curious. Like, I mean, I, I remember, like, like I said, like, it's so oversaturated. Like, you see a new photographer pop up, and you're like... I didn't even know that at the time, too. When I first started, like, I didn't think that was that many like, You were, like, into, like, the scene yet. No. Like, you just went in with, like, cold yeah. feet. Like, no, I had no idea. Would you, yeah. would you do it if you got zero likes and had zero followers? Would you post... I don't know. It depends. <laughs> that's that's a hard question. Like, that, that's a question like I I've always thought about. Like, would these like photographers like they enjoy it? But like, would they do it? I think it? if my photos, if I kept, if my, I personally think I have progressed decently over like for sure my months. I think yeah. If I yeah, if I and I, I like how no, you, but like, like, like how you kept let's the say same logo. Like let's say you keep you keep progressing. What'd you say? Wait, okay, what? you keep you keep progressing with your yourself through the last nine months, mm -hmm. but. Let's say there was no validation. There's zero. You still had zero followers. You still had zero likes. Yeah, I, I think. Do you I, think I, you yeah. would still you would have made it through the nine months? I think I probably would, only because if I keep getting better, there's no reason for me not. Because that's kind of what like life is. An example is because you're not always gonna get that validation. No, you roll with that. it. Oh yeah. You you're doing something for nine months. You mm -hmm. don't even realize you're doing, and then you're like, holy, like I've really progressed in that area yeah. of my life. Oh yeah. Well, that was exactly how what I said is and that's that's like what poetry was for me. You know, like okay, you can go back to what you said. <laughs> No, talk about your poetry. You know, we'll, we'll save it for later. Okay, we have to remember. Write it down. I'll write, write it down. down. Yep. I was going to say, what I like is how your logo has, hasn't changed at all. Oh, the you, whole know time. The, you know what the funny thing is? I literally had, well, oh, I got to pull it up now. I have you were like, it up. was it a bad one? Or? I, I don't know. I had like, I had a watermark that I had that was like, I mean, it wasn't like, it was a new one, but like, I wanted to change it up because. Like right like, now you wanted to? Yeah, it was this. Hold up. I didn't want to, but like I kind of did. This kind of like chalky look. It's not a logo, Joey. That's a watermark. Well, I'm not I mean, same thing. I, I like the other like, one better, but I do too. But like at the time, I was like, if this one ever like dies, is bad, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, one. that's but interesting. Like, yeah, I'm not gonna. But like, it's funny you said that because like so I actually thought about how, it. How did you? Okay, I'll say this. What were like your struggles starting up? Oh, I don't know. I just I didn't. I didn't like you made it out the mud. Uh, yeah, R growing. Growing was definitely a hard part because there were so many other photographers, especially like during like football season and early oh, yeah. to basketball season. Oh, it's like ten different ones. At yeah. Like from, yeah, at one game, like yeah, oh my, it's gosh, ridiculous. It's, it's a really high supply. Yeah, yeah. So there was definitely a lot of photographers, but like I wasn't like mad about that. Like I love all the photographers. Like yeah. it's like a family kind of. But like Lang's the dub. Oh yeah, Lang, Dad, <laughs> Dad, Daddy Lang, obviously. Yes, sir. Of course, of course. <laughs> Shout out Lang. Shout out Papa. Yep. See him at the, I saw him at the Cubs opening day. He was there. He said he's gonna. He said there's a video coming. Hopefully, I don't know. So don't keep don't have my word on that. But oh, we'll have to make something sure. Cubs video maybe. I don't know. Um, what'd you say? Like what were like your struggles starting up? Oh, like there um, had to been time you're like yeah Dang. there. Were, there wasn't the biggest the biggest like the only one that like really stands out is all these other photographers have like these big high tech cameras and I'm just stuck. I was stuck with this. Canon Rebel T6 with these two lenses that like have like lower quality compared to the other people But you can just like tell but like I still somehow made my photos good enough for people to like somehow like yeah. me. So it, I mean, you know what they say, you know what they say heart beats talent every time you had the heart to push through it They go. had the talent in the camera not the talent as a person the talent as a camera you had a low talent High passion. There Your passion you know. took over the talent, edited it, it, made it right, got it up to the high talent level. What did like? That's the Pat. That's the Pat. Be he's the Pat Bev of the photographers. Oh my God! Don't ever compare me to Patrick Beverly. Really. So who do you? Okay, who? What's your? You NBA said what? Comparison? No one's ever compared. My me to NBA that? comparison. He said he said never compare me to Pat Bev. Oh, he doesn't like Pat Bev. Do I, I mean, I don't like not like. Do you like Pat Bev? Yeah. Dang. Dave's like the Lou Dort of podcasts, bro. Oh, the Lou Dort? You, no, I mean, I'm, I'm the not, Pat Beverly. I don't have anything oh, no, against. Right. I don't have. Let me get. I don't have anything against Patrick Beverly. But if I was to be compared to someone, I wouldn't want it to be him. Who would you want to be compared to? If I don't know, there was. You see if the you shirt? were a guy, you know the shirt. 
Okay, you can Jimmy, be like Jimmy Buckets. No, he's the Kevin Love. Get out of here, dude. Bro, the, is it Tyler? That's because you're white. Oh, yeah, Tyler Tyler would actually be tough. I'll smack you and break my hand. I was saying, like he did yesterday. Kevin did, Love. Did you see how... Heat and six. Heat and six. Uh, mm-hmm. Literally three three hours after the Warriors lost in game one, Draymond came out with the podcast episode. <laughs> oh, not. Draymond, Draymond in his podcast is insane. Because the so second funny. the game ends, he gets in the stud, records a pod, and it's always just like a diss. He disses so many people in That's it. That's awesome, like, though. He'll, he'll, right after the whole Dylan Brooks and him had the big argument, instantly hopped on the pod, dissed Dylan Brooks. Good. And then, like, Brooks made fun of him and was like, yeah, you can go talk on your little pod next time, buddy. Or something like that. And I was like, wow. Like, Have that's you like seen the... Uh, who was that, like, sharpshooter who was on, like, the Sixers last... He was like... JJ? Yeah, Reddick? JJ. Oh. JJ has a fire podcast, bro. JJ oh, Reddick. Reddick, yeah. I've seen it a few times. Like, I see clips, like... Yeah. No, he's good. It's like, I think that... Like, he he announces on games sometimes and stuff. For real? Yeah. Wow. That's no, I'm not gonna. Lie. I really like. I love like. I love. He's got a good clip. voice, yeah. Well, he's just like he's well spoken. Yeah. yeah. So it's cool that like after being an athlete, like, you know, um, what do you think played like the biggest part in you kind of like making it? I don't even know to be honest. I just kind of. Cause I, I know when, I know what I think it is, but. Whenever growing up, I didn't really have like, I don't know. I had like passion. It was sports and football and wrestling and like all these small sports, but like nothing really grew me to like meet new people a bunch like football obviously did because like you play a bunch of teams and stuff but like photography really really is a different it i've met so many different people i've talked to so many different people the amount of like new friends i have from photography it's so it's crazy it's absolutely insane so i feel like photography definitely helped with that aspect yeah but what do you think like helped with you growing the account like because uh, i mean collabs collapse you i was gonna say in like uh, four months in you got to a thousand yeah that was talk about that, that was, because that like unreal. that that's that was it. unreal to me <laughs> talk about that whole thing that happened I, what like the, the game comes oh yeah so it was i was at like nine oh, i was at like 800 followers and i was like yo lalu i was talking to cameron and i yeah. was like yo lala mirrors like a big school like this was after the nibc happened i was yep. like i didn't go to it because like everyone else did i didn't want to go because there's too many other people to be honest so i was like yo lalamir's like a good school i should go like take some pictures so i went to max preps and looked up lalamir and i went to like their recent games they had like three home games there were like two academy teams that were like completely dog <laughs> like i didn't want to go to them and then one of them was centerville and at the time i had no idea that gabe cups which is a really good iu uh commit for Centerville. Yeah, he's top 100 in the country. Yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't even know that he was on that team at all. And then, like, I went to Centerville's lineup. I saw, like, the record. They were really good. And then I went to, like, the roster, looked up all the players. I saw Gabe Cups. And then I saw, like, 370, like, 5,000 followers. I was like, whoa, that's crazy. So I DM'd him, like, a month beforehand. I said, yo, I'm coming to this game. If you want, like, to get, like, any flicks a collab let me know like it'd be pretty like cool you know so then the game the game comes i'm gonna have like 980 followers at the time so i'm like oh this maybe this will set me over a thousand hopefully if i can get like a collab or him like to post my pictures or something so the game happens there wasn't like a lot of people there's, mm-hmm. there's like never a lot of people at lalu games yeah it's not a weird. not lalu it's, weird. Weird. it's like a weird like atmosphere bro like, i can't tell this stuff their gym is their gym is weird yeah they're not the, much seating like i think this max seating capacity has gotta be like 500 it's not a lot yeah like, it's like, I, I like it though it's, like it's also yeah, it's, it's like a just, middle school like it's in the middle bleachers too. It's, in the middle right, it's like a, yeah it's like a weird like prep school thing like, yeah i don't know like it's ranked in the nation it should have a big stadium but it doesn't because yeah, I guess they don't they facts. don't run deep with fans like that. Yeah, all their fans like leave to go do stuff. And or it's because all their fans away. are from students yeah. that are 500 miles away, and they just don't yeah. have deep. They don't have like a deep like alumni base and stuff like that. Because that's really where like the big fans are. Yeah, like with your high school alumni. Yeah, I guess. Um. So like the game comes and you're yeah. So up. I was at the game. Um. I was taking pictures the whole time. Like I said, there wasn't a lot of people there, so he definitely like saw me a few times. So after the game, uh, they lost that game. That was like one of like their three losses. So I was like, dang, he's really like not gonna want pictures. Yeah. Like, I know like after a loss, I definitely wouldn't want pictures, especially after he drove from Dayton, Ohio. That's where Centerville's from, all the way to Lalu. So and taking an L. He like, personally I'd, drove her. 
Yeah, I, that's what. No, yeah, the, I didn't know that. They, I thought they would take a bus. Yeah. Uh, they they drive separately. What? I didn't. Yeah, I didn't know that. Bro, the amount of gas that that is, bro, that's four hour drive. That. Yeah, I didn't know that. That's, that's like two four two to three hours probably. It's far. I didn't know that though. I didn't know that they drive drove separately. So yeah. after the huh. game, so they lost. They go into the locker room after the game. He comes out, gets pictures, autographs from like five people, and then I'm standing there. I was like, oh, you know what? While I was waiting, actually, I was like, oh, you know what I should do? I went. Grabbed a piece of paper from the booth or the scores table, whatever. Grabbed a pen and I wrote at underscore Shabarai underscore because that's what it is. I put on a piece of paper. And then afterwards he came out. I was like, yo, I dabbed him up. Yo, I'm Ryan Shabarai. I DM'd you like a month ago asking like if you want my pictures, want to collab. Here's my at. Just look at it later whenever you're free. I know you're like probably like not in the mood. He's like, yeah, I'm definitely not. And I was like, yeah, it's fine. Just like look at it whenever you're free, you know. I dabbed him up. He's like, yo, sick. I bet I'll look at it. And then he went and got an interview. I left. That was that. And then later at like 10 o'clock at night, he DM'd me. He was like, yo, send me your picks. I'm down the collab. Just like, I'll choose the best ones. And I was like, all right, bet. And then the, we set it up from there. And then like, I think that's kind of like what really, I think that's kind of when I started like. That's when a lot. Like that's when started. I started like DMing you and like. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, Gabe Cups, like that's that's like yeah. 375 is like an insane. There's so many knows people, the guy. so many people DM me when I posted like the pictures. They're like, yo, this is real, like this is getting for real. You're taking pictures of Gabe Cups, and that's that's like when I realized like, hey, I might be like really, really like I might have like a place like in this world for like maybe photography. Well, the also thing like that's like he's not like a South Bend guy, so like you're oh, used no, to doing yeah. South Bend guys. So yeah, you've got all the biggest names from mm-hmm. South Bend basketball. But it's like this dude's like oh yeah he's Midwest like, big. He's I didn't in like you know America big when it comes to high school sports. I didn't even know this at the time, but when I, I went to class the next not the next day but like the week of, and I was like, yo, I was telling my friends I'm getting a collab with Gabe Cups, and then one of my friends was like, Gabe Cups, like, like the kid that played versus Bronny Gabe Cups. I was like, bro, <laughs> what? Like, what are you talking about? And I go to his Instagram, he played against Bronny. Has a picture with LeBron like holding him up, like helping him up. Yeah. I was like. I didn't know that. I had no idea. Yeah. That's, so that's that's where Gabe became Gabe. That's what I'm yeah, saying. That's what Gabe I had became no Gabe. idea. That's why I was like, oh, this. that's why this dude has like 300K, like 370K on Insta. Like, yeah. Well, I was like, say, don't get me wrong. He's a good basketball player. Like he would have a bunch of followers, but yeah. he's not having 370K. He's also he's a personality. He's, oh, a yeah. he's like a personality just like so the guy that like TikTok. guarded <laughs> Zion. Yeah. Yeah. Um, or like Grady Dick. Or yeah. Something yeah. Like, something like that. Yeah. Like he has a career no matter what, even in basketball. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I think like the collabs really set you apart. Um Semi state. That was like, first of all, I was at that day. That was like an insane day. Oh yeah. Talk Semi-state. about, uh, you know, there was the Kokomo versus Penn game. Heartbreaking finish. Yeah. Uh, talk about how you got Flory. I mean, that's like one of the best players in the that one. That one was that one was hard. That one was honestly harder than Game Cups. No, that um, one, bro. Yes. Just because communication wise, it was really hard because he just won semi state. So you know how many people are DMing him, probably trying to get photos and all that other stuff. Um. Kind of just the same thing. There was so many other photographers there. I DM'd him like two weeks before, hey, trying to collab. He said, he actually, uh, hold on, I can read the messages. Yeah. He uh, he responded before the game even happened. Like right like right before? No, no, like a week before even okay. the game started, he answered. So I knew like before the game even started, like he wants to collab. So I was like, oh, I definitely have to like get pictures. You had to lock in, bro. Good thing he made him. it to semi-state. Bro was really setting up photographers for a game he didn't even <laughs> yeah, know he was right. going to go to. Yeah. Kokomo I texted so him, text him March 13th. I'm going to Michigan City Saturday. Let me know if you're interested in a collab or pictures, fam. He said, yeah, sure, thanks, man. And then uh, I said, I'll talk to you after the game. Left was after, like, the first game that yeah. they played against uh, Penn. And I, talk, I said, I'll talk to him after the championship. And then after the championship, yeah, they there's won. There's no way that you could have talked to that guy. Bro. I didn't like, talk to him. Not a, I didn't see a single window room. I just got pictures. So I texted him. I was like, didn't want to bother you after your post game. Congrats on the dub and securing your ticket to state, blah, blah, blah. I got some fire pictures if you're interested. Yeah, for sure. I said, I'm ready to send them whenever. He sent me his number. And then I just sent him all the favorites. And then he said, I'm going to pick a few. And then he didn't text back for like a day. And then he said, sorry, I slept all day. I'm a little tired. He said, uh, and then he basically sent the photos. We kind of agreed to a lineup. He said, let's do it. We did it the next day, and that was that. That's crazy. So you think like the collabs is how you? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of. Fr- Who comes uh, up with the caption? It depends. To be honest, that's like fifty-fifty. Like I know, like Tank with like our collabs, he always comes up with like the, the caption. 
for like some of them I come up with the caption. I would come up with the caption. I would I don't think I'd be able to. You bro. would not. It depends. For like some of them like like if I if I was Flory, my caption would be semi state versus pen. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I cannot come up with something. And then like and then like a blue heart. <laughs> yeah. Like a uh, blue and a white heart. Or whatever right? Kokomo's color is blue and red. I yeah, thought, blue right? yeah, uh, navy and red. Um I'm curious, who have been some of your role models along the way? just kind of the photographers in the area really grant was a huge one because he was like the first one i met lang obviously because i i met him at cubs the the year prior like when i first started yeah. taking photos obviously dad lang um i don't know i kind of just i don't i don't like stay in my own lane but like i don't really try and take a lot of influence from other people because i kind of just want to do my own thing you, yeah you want to learn on your own path i've definitely learned from like a lot of like i use instagram a lot like a lot of Instagram people. Oh, Aiden. It's shots by Aiden. I fly. Yeah, he's definitely a huge one. Uh, NRK, all those boys. Yeah. The, uh, Just like the guys. Kellen. Yeah all, yeah. yeah, all of them. I mean, every single one of them. Um, You know, so in your personal Instagram, in your bio, it's like Javon Holiday or something. <laughs> Javon Holland. We, we talked about that. I'm like, so you said he's your role model. Yeah. The safety for the, the Dolphins. He's a big role model. Just because him, him and Jimmy Butler – are kind of role models. Uh, there's no really specific reason. Um, they Javon, handle themselves well. Like Javon, he came from Oregon. He's a really good safety. I played safety in high school. He's really funny. Um, he just is a really funny, like, chill back dude, like exactly how like I yeah. would be. And he's like, he came from nowhere, like most people. He's trying. He did. He's doing what he wants to do in Miami. So like, my goal basically is like, take photos of him in Miami. Like he's my idol. Like. I know Shot by Ride made it if I go take photos of Javon in Miami, probably. Yeah. And then Jimmy Butler wise. We'll get this clip to go viral. <laughs> there you go. Get Javon. Uh, and then. Adam a bunch. For real. And then Jimmy Butler wise, he grew up from like poverty. Like he had. He was no, homeless at 13. He was homeless for like so long. He grew, went to house to house and then played basketball. Had like no offers. Went to like a no name school. Went to Marquette. Got. And then he got. Uh, Drafted. He was yeah, like drafted yeah. like thirtieth or something, right? Yeah, it was, it was like he was insane. not like, like not after to be playing like, at home, like an all star yeah. and after playing at Marquette, like he got drafted. And that's just crazy. Like homeless from being homeless in the NBA. That's just like crazy. So So your dream is to be a photographer for the Dolphins or for the Heat. Like that's basically like, um not even photography, but like marketing, because that's kind of what I'm going to college okay, for. Okay, marketing. Interesting. That, yeah. Dave, that's your yeah, that's what you're going to college for. Bro, being being part of a professional organization. Oh yeah. That's cool. what I'm saying. Like if I can pro marketing, like if I can promote the Dolphins or the Heat as my job that would be like that i that'd be so tough i don't yeah. even know what i would do in life like that'd just be it that'd yeah be it's it. interesting because i've like i've definitely like gravitated towards like that's like business right like you could oh, say yeah. that yeah but like marketing is like like my exact like the opposite way that i'd want to go <laughs> like you want to promote someone else i just want to promote myself i get that but like i've loved miami for you're so promoting long, yourself so, like, through through something I don't know. It depends. Because, I mean, if you go push a bunch of stuff for the Heat, it shows you care about the Heat. It shows you stand for the organization and what they show or whatnot, which then comes back to yourself, which promotes yourself. So you have to really – okay, yeah. If I, like – like, if you like, – It's like Notre Dame. Like, if I really believe in everything about Notre Dame, mm -hmm. then yeah. You work you, – you, you form a company. You promote the company. The company becomes part of you, yeah, you which promotes you. But, like you, like you said – Jeff Bezos, Jeff Bezos present pro, – gosh, <laughs> promotes himself – through Amazon. Yeah, but he's not marketing for Amazon. There's guys who work underneath him. They're marketing for Amazon. That's something I would never like. He still markets it. Yeah, but I would, he was the owner. If like, someone if someone looks at he, him, bro, he's not gonna be the owner of the Miami Heat. Like let's no, like let's keep it real. All right, knock on wood. I hope that you become the owner of the Miami Heat. But that I'm would saying, be. That's I don't know. I don't like, do you understand what I'm saying? Or yeah, but like if you become if you form and push stuff, it, you become part of it, which. I, I guess part like of you, sport, which promotes you. Like a like a sports team is not something that like I would believe in like when, that much. When you ask someone where they go to school, the school you're not promoting the school, but you're still like it still promotes yeah. you. I guess I'd never like love a place like that much to like do that as a job. But it's just yeah. like it's not there's nothing against that. Like yeah, I think it's cool like that someone has that sort of creative mindset to be able to market, but. Yeah, it's just not if I me. could like work for the Dolphins and like on their marketing team or whatever and like market, and, you'd like, still want to take flicks and, though, and take flicks and promote myself. That that would be it. That's like it. So I want in you, Miami too. I want you to talk about the destroying event because oh, that was like a that really was, big deal. That was, you had, that was you had awesome. a cool video from that. I also want to say if I I I me personally I think I'd 
rather like be homeless living in Miami than like not be in Miami at all. To be honest, that's how so much. I that's, a, that's a that's a wild take. That's how much I like love Miami. Like I'd rather be you're, homeless trying to do what I want to love to do in Miami than try and like do something I don't want to do okay. somewhere else. Like you're talking like living on the streets or just like homeless. Like I don't know, man. Whatever I got to do to do. What yeah, I we, want we, in we Miami. Can, we can get you a plane ride ticket, man. One way. <laughs> Go do that, whatever man. I can, whatever I can do Hopeful, to uh, do what I want to do. There's nothing. I've told my parents this, like, all my life. Like, if I'd rather make, like, not a lot of money and, like, do what I love to do than, like, make a crap ton of money and it's something, like, not what I want to do. Yeah. I know eventually, like, I'll make a decent enough money, hopefully, from, like, whatever I do in Miami. But, like, yeah. if it's not, like, in Miami, like, what, like, photography or marketing... I don't. I probably won't want to do it. Yeah, that means that you really found like that's like it. That's the passion, right? Yeah, there, it's right? like it. what's more important than money. You know, it's oh yeah, what you love doing. Talk about the destroying event though. That went down like what was that two weeks ago? Oh, I don't remember. April? No, wait, no. Yeah, it was like the start of April, I think. April second, I think. I don't know. Yeah, it was in Chicago. Me, shots by Aiden Grant, <laughs> shots uh, flex by Grant, shots by Aiden, Aiden Grant, whatever. Shots by Elijah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Elijah. Uh, I didn't even know they were going until like we got on the train. Grant was like, "Yo, my boys are here. They're gonna hop, they're gonna hop next to us." I was like, "Yo, what's up?" Um, but yeah, so we hop on the train from South Bend. We went to Chicago. We hop off the train. We uh, get some food, get some grub. Then we hop on an Uber, go to Ridgewood High School. I believe it was. Yeah, it was like a thirty-minute drive out of Chicago, which was kind of funny. But we got there an hour early. The line was already, like, 100 yards long. Like, it was already, like, crazy long. So, you know, we're not trying to wait yeah. in the line. So we walked to the front, and the next thing you know, someone's like, are you guys photographers? And we're like, yeah. And he's like, yo, photographers, what's up? Are you guys going to flick us up? And I dabbed this dude up. I'm like, yeah, for sure, just let us hop in. He's like, yo, photographer's coming through. And the next thing you know, me, Aiden, and Grant just kind of walk right to the, not like right in the front, but like we kind of hop in the mob that's right at the front. Yeah. And then we got like right in, like they started letting people in. We hop, we got in there like 10 minutes, like soon as it started, it was amazing. Um, Nothing happened, just kind of, <laughs> we were just taking pictures of like warm-ups and everything. I think um, it got shut down eventually. Yeah, we were taking pictures of warm-ups and everything. Um, Destroying got there, and then it just quickly escalated. Like there was like, I don't Wait, know, like, like what happened? There was like two thousand people, and like you don't have space for that. The, yeah, there wasn't. There wasn't, and there was like security from like Ridgewood. There was like security from like the high school, but like that. The wasn't high enough. school, the high school security is not doing it's anything. It's not doing no. anything. They weren't doing anything. They were telling people to get the, back. They they try to keep people off the field from rushing the field, and everyone just runs right by them. Yes, that's yeah. exactly what happened. So like there was like literally three plays, and then like the fourth play, someone got mossed, and then everyone ran on the field, and then it took literally like thirty minutes to get everyone off just that one time. And then, like, two plays later, someone got mossed again, and then, boom, everyone was yeah. building in. It was, like, another 45 minutes. Were there any, like, South Bend, uh, was it wide receivers and cornerbacks? No. I don't think so, no. That's a bummer. Yeah, I, feel, I was hoping for someone. Man. But, but like, the next play. You never thought about going out there? Because, like, you, you were a safety, bro. Afterwards, I was, like, yo, low-key, I, I could have. Like, do you think <laughs> that you could have done something or not? Uh, so, basically, there were so many people, they only give out 75 bands. No, wait. Yeah, they only give out 75 bands. 75 on offense, 75 on defense. So there was, like, tryouts. Like So, like, the goal was to find, like, the best offense and best defense guy? So, before – so, Destroying got there, and everyone runs, like, a post route with Destroying, and then, like, coaches with his DBs doing other stuff. And during this time, Destroying's handing out 75 of these bands to hand out for contestants because you can only have 75 yeah. of amount, a certain amount. And then the competition actually started, and then all that rushing the field happened. And then it happened, like, one last time, and then security was like, if you guys don't get off the field in, like, three minutes, we're calling it. Well, that was valid. And then like, the cops called it, uh, and then everyone was pretty mad, and then... Yeah, mo the most, of it, most of it, most influence or influencer, um, like, events always get shut down. Yeah. Like, all the, gym open, as... all the gym openings in L.A., like, Fusion you Gym and whatnot, people, and you need like Bradley people, Martins yeah. and... They all just got shut down within like 30 minutes because there was just that mass amount of people, which I don't know what the problem is with that. I know like the whole fire hazard and whatnot, but if it's outside, like I don't see what the problem is. Yeah, I don't know. So we got, we said it was canceled, destroying left. Everyone started swarming him. He got into the, he got into his vehicle. 
and then everyone started swarming his vehicle. Go look yeah. at shots by Aiden. Uh, I, bro, I saw so many that like, photos. He put put one put one photo. Yeah, on I'll put, I'll put of, one. Uh, yeah, I, there was like a mob around his car. People jumping on there. It was crazy. It was insane. He couldn't leave for like solid twenty minutes. And that just like yeah. It was like rude, but <laughs> it was rude. Um, but at the same time, he kind of liked it. Like I was looking at his Instagram story afterwards. He was he was messing with it. Was the window open or uh? Oh, they up were definitely down. uh. It, it was, was definitely were, up and tinted. Up. Like they didn't yeah, know what seat he was sitting t- in. Yeah, it was up tinted, but they put it. They put it down for a few videos. Should have what Kai Sinet did and stands through the sky roof and go crazy. But I really, I really want to get my car tinted. I do too, but the Honda Accord, two thousand three Honda Accord, ain't gonna. I'm gonna wait till I get a new car, probably. Yeah, I'm a '98 guy, so I'm like really into cars. It's like my '98. It's like my baby, bro. Like, I have a name for it and everything. What is it, Joseph? <laughs> bro, so I have like this plan, right? When I have a dog, I'm gonna name it Joey Jr. Call it JJ. When I have a son, I'm gonna call the in the name him Joey what if, Jr. What if the girl doesn't agree? He doesn't care. I don't care. <laughs> oh, dang. Are All you right. kidding me? I'm not. I would not impregnate a woman who's. <laughs> does there i would not you have to, like you have to make this strictly known beforehand yeah well okay. yes like listen like, okay it, it, it'll be in writing bro like it's gonna be a contract Understood. there's gonna be a prenuptial Understood. agreement during our wedding okay <laughs> our first son's name will be joseph jr our dog's name has to be a sausage dog a wiener dog name will be <laughs> joey jr and it will be called jj that works jj right? the dog JJ. jj the dog it's gonna be a cute ass dog Okay. You like? Am I tripping for like being eighteen and like already knowing what I want to name my son? People say like, I don't think so. Your name if you want, if you want, if you know something, you know something. Is like, yours gonna be named RJ? No. Ryan Jr. Really? Bro, that's could you imagine? Uh, Dave, uh, I know your name and yours. Pod- yeah, I hope I name. Isn't your name like Podrick? Like call it podcast. <laughs> <laughs> what? Is Pot- potty for short, bro. <laughs> like, what's your name and your son, bro? I don't know. I, I, I don't I really. I don't really. I, think, just, I don't really think about it. I really. think that you should name your son Miguel, after our dear friend whose birthday was. It'll be a week from this podcast, and he's back in work now. Yes. So go check him. Go check him out at Blaze. Check him out on Spotify. Uh, Craving you as almost a thousand streams in total. So there's gonna be a part two coming out. It's going up on Rap Caviar pretty soon. There. Yeah. Rolling Loud 2027. <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean, like, is there anything else you want to talk about? Otherwise, I'm really curious about these Instagram questions. Oh, uh, nothing specifically. I'm sure stuff will come up I'll talk about. Yeah. What are the questions? Yeah, let me get them up. Dave, you just go to our, like, our uh, highlights, and then you can just scroll up. Uh, I know how to use the app. Don't worry. (laughs) You're a really tech-savvy guy, aren't you? You know, the crazy thing is, I I mean, knowing Dave... I got something. You can go. I was going to say, knowing David for, like before we started the podcast like being friends with him like he's like the weirdly like very tech savvy guy but, like his attention to detail is like it's weird how it like works somehow that's good because like this man will write a paragraph and will f- forget punctuation <laughs> like he can go like edit a video and make it right punctuation is just optional like why do you need punctuation <laughs> i don't capitalize anything like my website's not capitalized oh i, I saw it. yeah it looks anything. yeah I've noticed that's something. Like why? That's something why? That no, no, no. no. Why? Why do people look at things and think it's unprofessional if it's not capitalized? Why is that that's so engraved? I think why is that so true. engraved that if I don't have a capitalized my name, Bro, David, that that means I'm being informal? No, that doesn't mean I'm being informal. It just means I'm trying to get my point across quickly, yeah. so that you can read it I've noticed, and respond like, to me quickly. I've noticed though, like me and you in group chats or in like a professional setting, you always capitalize and you make it look good. For like, well, because I know bro. how people want it. It's dumb that b- people want it like that way. Bro, why are you giving pe- the people what they want, bro? Yeah. At the end of the day, yeah, just be know. David Folger. So, I guess you already talked about this, but what is your dream photographer's job? It's obviously Same going who, to Miami and whatnot. Oh, yeah. it's uh, NHA Ron uh, Media. NHA Ron Out Media. What is your dream? Uh, Evan Winicky, one of our favorite guests. Shout or out, favorite guests. He's like one of my first followers. Him and uh, Axel met him at a volleyball game. Yep. Favorite St. Joe volleyball fans. Who are they? St. Joe. Oh, I think you just heard them. Evan and Axel. They they were they were really Evan and Axel. They it was weird. Like they really gravitated towards volleyball. Out of every single sport, like they were diehard St. Joe volleyball front, fans. Volleyball front, was sick, dude. Yeah. Front row every game. Like they like bro. If they were not in the they front of the so student cool. section, bro. They were so cool. Yeah, those those are, those are our boys. Shout, shout out. out. I, yeah. For keep real. in mind, like shout so, out, shout out. so. This is coming out on Sunday. Um. So last thir- like. Which is our future. We were recording this on Monday. Axel may be showcasing a business soon. 
I want three. Oh yeah. He has like so he's been really he's been working on this business like super duper hard for the last <laughs> six months and he's gonna debut it. Um so check go go on his Instagram, DM him and be like, Axel, let me see the business because his business for is real, tough. For like, real. Like do it. it's a really Shout tough out. idea and all that. And he's been like, no, he, it's like legit, bro. Like some people think that it's a lie. It's legit. Dave, what's the next one? Um Deacon Flix said, What do you think about the competition in the photography business? It's no it's no competition. It's no I don't think it's ever competition. So you go into a game, there's thirteen photographers. You're not like a little okay. Like, you're like listen, you're like a little bummed out. Listen. There are some people that I can maybe I don't think it I don't know how to like word it. I wouldn't I definitely could go to a game and see thirteen photographers and I could definitely see them all as like twelve competitors. Or I could see them all as like twelve people that are also trying to get photos, but in the, at the end of the day, I think the whoever best. whoever gets the best photos, whoever sends out the best photos, is what's gonna get posted. Yeah. So it's no like matter what, games. like the best one's gonna win. Like for real. So no matter yeah. what, it's not it's not comp. I mean, it is competition, but the same. It's friendly competition. Yeah, it's all, so all like your boys, which is like I think that's exactly. super dope. Like y'all are all close. Like and you it's said, not like even a, like just high school photographers. Like Michael, uh, I don't even I don't know how you say his last name, but Michael Katrina, I think yep. something like that. Like an old, all these older photographers too that I know. Uh, there's Mike know Tellums. He's like all these older photographers too. They're also cool. Like it's not just like these high school. Yeah. Guys. So Cameron. Cameron Fan Show. Fanzalo. No, Cam- no, it's his Cameron Fan Show. Like he has his Instagram is like his fan show. I guess Honestly, I don't know. I, I, it's okay. Bro, <laughs> first of all, shout out my boy Cameron. Like that's like I'll my dog Cameron. for real, bro. Like Cameron, if you're seeing this, bro, just hit me up, bro. It's been a minute. <laughs> he said, if you had to delete one team in all sports, would you rather delete the Miami Heat or the Miami Dolphins? <sighs> But you gotta go Dolphins, bro. Dude, that's they're bro. gone. Their franchise is gone. It never happened. Wow. That is insane. I thought about this too. I Cameron's dropping banger questions. That is a bro, that's like, a, like he's a really bro. He's like a higher thinking type of guy. Really? Like who thinks about that, bro? Like he has thought provoking yeah. thoughts. Uh, oh, that's bro, tough. shout out Cameron, man. I definitely think it has to be the Heat for a few reasons. One, I've liked the Dolphins for longer. There's a lot more players on the Heat, so there could be like a lot more things that I can do with the Heat uh, with the Dolphins. My yeah, bad. yeah. There's a lot more players with the Dolphins, and yeah, I don't. I just I've just liked the Dolphins for the longest, so I just it has the most in my heart. I guess I don't know. That's but no more Jimmy Buckets. Gonna happen. Man. Shut up. It's not gonna happen. Man. So it doesn't matter. You know, I'll be honest. Some of my favorite Heat player, Goran Dragic. When he used to be there, when bro. He used to be there. Like, that man was just, like, a man, bro. Like, when you think of, like, what is a man, you think of Gordon, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's the next one. Uh, that was that was all that was sent in for this one. There was another. I thought. Didn't. Oh, that was it. Okay. Awesome. Oh, wait. Okay. What was, like, the thing that you, like, thought of? Like, you were, like, when I before I asked David. Oh, yeah. And then I have oh. one more thing on you as David. Uh... Oh, I don't remember what it was exactly. It was to ask me? No, I remember what it was, but like, no. Something about Blake what? Wesley. I don't remember. I need to pull it up. Should I ask David my question real quick? Yeah, you can ask me. Okay, before. David. Um, okay. What's like the best line that you've written poetry wise? Like, can you like, <laughs> like, can you like, like go to your notes and like, look, like, just say something on the pod, bro, like for a clip and like, I'll post it on the Instagram, like the main post. You, you do use while I, while I find my best one. All right. So I tag, so uh march 8th uh blake wesley's trainer in this area the south bend area coach mooney he hit me up him and his uh like assistant hit me up saying hey can you come like take pictures like just volunteer take pictures at like our our little training <laughs> just because like why not and I, I knew like he trains like blake wesley jade Ivy, marcus burn like all these good basketball players yeah so i was like yeah why not so i went there took pictures i posted on my instagram story i remember uh, that yeah and i tagged him and uh I tagged Blake, but like I slid it to the side so you can't see it, and so it still sends to him though. So I sent it to him. He opened it, liked it, and he said, "Tough, let's get after it. Let's uh, after season, let's get let's get it." I said, "I got you. You already know." So hopefully this summer, when yeah. he comes and trains, I'm gonna begin a Blake. So we Wesley gotta clip collab. that and like Blake Wesley collab. Hopefully, I hope that'd be a, that'd be a, that's a and South Bend guy. I'm really big for this community. Like I yeah. like he has like that five seven forte. Like I don't want that tattoo. Well, I mean I do, but like. 
he like has like a lot of heart for the community. I do too. So I feel like a collab would be really cool. That would be tough for me at least. And that's like a really like it. recent thing. No, yeah. Oh yeah. Me and David would really like that. It'd be awesome. All right, here's something that I uh, cooked up. It's not really like anything special. It definitely. But like, this is. about to be fire, Everything bro. Is special. Like David, like this is gonna be like the most fire thing I've ever heard you say. Life is like the sky. <laughs> One place of your life, the world is stormy. But there's another place that is beautiful, even though it is all the same sky. You can't see it, but you can move towards and away from the darkness and might stumble upon the butte. The butte might come after a storm that's been brewing. But once it all comes out, poop, shit, shit's beautiful, and you can smile again. If shit not working, find a new loco, a new thing, and that shit become more... Enjoyable and beautiful. Why is that looking kind of tough? Like, what did I say? Oh, like, what, what, what was the meaning behind this, Joey? Like, bro, that was just like tough, bro. Because like, have you ever thought about that? When you're watching a sunset, you're looking right at the sun. Beautiful I don't sight. Know about that. What? I'm looking at the sky. No, you're looking at the sky. You're looking at the the place yeah, that the you can sun. see peripheral vision. But behind the sunset, you look behind. It's dark. The sun's gone there. It's gone from there. The light has already moved to the other side. <laughs> yeah. But eventually it's gone, gone. And it's just all dark. And you got to be able to wait and know that the light's going to come back around at some point during the day. It's not all on 24, 24 hour cycle. It could be 30 seconds. You could have 30 seconds. My cord's all tied up. But you could have 30 <laughs> seconds to where the light flashes. It's gone. It's already sad again. Do you know who, uh, like, what is his name? Dick Vitale is or something? Everyone knows who yeah. Dick Vitale is. I met him. I swear to God, Dave's going to be like him when he grows up. I met a him. sports but, announcer? Bro, and like, he like, like he's like a big like no, motivational speaker type of guy. Oh. Like, if you go to his Twitter, bro, like, I, I've liked a tweet of his, bro. And that, you know that's a big deal when someone of my caliber likes a tweet, bro. Yeah, for real. Side yeah. note, I work at the hotel. It's called the Morrison. And yeah. It's, uh, it's at on Notre Dame's campus. And like a bunch of like cool, not cool, but like yeah, yeah. people like go there. Like I met Dick Vitale there, Larry Fitzgerald, Coach O. I met a few people there. So you yeah, met Coach O? That's another side job that I got that's like pretty cool. Yeah, well, that is tough. That is oh, tough. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, During football season, it's really cool too. Cause oh, you, I can oh, imagine. It's amazing. That's a grind though. Like, I went to the Clemson game, Notre Dame Clemson. Me only and they because were there. Of that we job. were there. We rushed the field. Oh, only, yeah. Yep, it was amazing. Only because I have that job. That's the only reason I went. That's Three a good connection. Um, I want you to tell everyone where they can like. I mean, we'll have it linked everywhere, but, like, just for the people, uh, tell them where they can find you. Oh, I got a bunch of stuff. I got, so, there's this one thing I just got, actually. It's a dot. I have a dot profile. He's going to, I'm going to tell him to put it below. It has literally everything that I have. Uh, it has inst my Instagram. I have, it's underscore shot by Rye on almost every, underscore shot by Rye, underscore on almost everything, like, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Uh, I have an email. Ryan Bohr at iCloud.com. I got a number. I got a bunch of different stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, check them out there. Um, And then, yeah, I mean, like, we're back. You know, like, we're, like, just stay tuned for what we have in store. It's going to be, you know, a great, you know, spring and then early summer. So, uh, yeah, check us out on everything. Chips and Chops podcast. All right, out.